Google App Engine, often referred to as GAE or simply App Engine, is a platform as a service and cloud computing platform for developing and hosting web applications in Google managed data centers. Applications are sandboxed and run across multiple servers. App Engine offers automatic scaling for web applications. As the number of requests increases for an application, App Engine automatically allocates more resources for the web application to handle the additional demand. Google App Engine is free up to a certain level of consumed resources and only in standard environment but not in flexible environment. Fees are charged for additional storage, bandwidth, or instance hours required by the application. It was first released as a preview version in April 2008 and came out of preview in September 2011. <laughs> Supported features, restrictions Topic. Runtimes and framework Supported programming languages in standard environment include Python, Java, and, by extension, other JVM languages such as Kotlin, Groovy, JRuby, Scala, Clojure, Go, PHP, and Node, JS Beta. All programming languages available in standard environment are also available in flexible environment. Ruby and C Sharp are only available in the flexible environment. Google has said that it plans to support more languages in the future, and that the Google App Engine has been written to be language independent. Arbitrary Docker containers are also supported. Python web frameworks that run on Google App Engine include Django, CherryPy, Pyramid, Flask, Web2py, and WebApp2, as well as a custom Google written WebApp framework and several others designed specifically for the platform that emerged since the release. Any Python framework that supports the WSGI using the CGI adapter can be used to create an application. The framework can be uploaded with the developed application. Third party libraries written in pure Python may also be uploaded. Google App Engine supports many Java standards and frameworks. Core to this is the Servlet 2.5 technology using the open source Jetty web server, along with accompanying technologies such as JSP. Java Server Faces operates with some workarounds. A newer release of App Engine Standard Java in beta supports Java 8, Servlet 3.1, and Jetty 9. Though the integrated database, Google Cloud Data Store, may be unfamiliar to programmers, it is accessed and supported with JPA, JDO, and by the simple low-level API. There are several alternative libraries and frameworks you can use to model and map the data to the database such as Objectify, Slim3 and Jello Framework. The Spring Framework works with GAE. However, the Spring Security module if used, requires workarounds. Apache Struts 1 is supported, and Struts 2 runs with workarounds. The Django web framework and applications running on it can be used on App Engine with modification. Django Nonrel aims to allow Django to work with non relational databases, and the project includes support for App Engine. Topic. Reliability and support All build App Engine applications have a 99.95% .95 uptime SLA. App Engine is designed in such a way that it can sustain multiple data center outages without any downtime. This resilience to downtime is shown by the statistic that the high replication data store saw 0% downtime over a period of a year. Paid support from Google engineers is offered as part of Premier accounts. Free support is offered in the App Engine groups, Stack Overflow, Server Fault, and GitHub. However, assistance by a Google staff member is not guaranteed.
Topic: <laughs> Bulk downloading. SDK version 1.2.2 adds support for bulk downloads of data using Python. The open source Python projects Gaybar, Aprocket, and Gorsh also allow users to download and backup App Engine data. No method for bulk downloading data from GAE using Java currently exists. Restrictions Developers have read only access to the file system on App Engine. Applications can use only virtual file systems, like GAE Filestore. App Engine can only execute code called from an HTTP request, scheduled background tasks allow for self calling HTTP requests. Users may upload arbitrary Python modules, but only if they are pure Python, C and Pyrex modules are not supported. Java applications may only use a subset the JRE class white list of the classes from the JRE standard edition. This restriction does not exist with the App Engine standard Java 8 runtime. A process started on the server to answer a request can't last more than 60 seconds with the 1.4.0 release, this restriction does not apply to background jobs anymore. Does not support sticky sessions aka session affinity, only replicated sessions are supported including limitation of the amount of data being serialized and time for session serialization. Topic: Major differences. Topic: Differences with other application hosting. Compared to other scalable hosting services such as Amazon EC2, App Engine provides more infrastructure to make it easy to write scalable applications, but can only run a limited range of applications designed for that infrastructure. App Engine's infrastructure removes many of the system administration and development challenges of building applications to scale to hundreds of requests per second and beyond. Google handles deploying code to a cluster, monitoring, failover, and launching application instances as necessary. While other services let users install and configure nearly any asterisk Nix compatible software, App Engine requires developers to use only its supported languages, APIs, and frameworks. Current APIs allow storing and retrieving data from the document-oriented Google Cloud Datastore database, making HTTP requests, sending email, manipulating images, and caching. Google Cloud SQL can be used for App Engine applications requiring a relational MySQL-compatible database backend. Per day and per minute quotas restrict bandwidth and CPU use, number of requests served, number of concurrent requests, and calls to the various APIs, and individual requests are terminated if they take more than 60 seconds or return more than 32 megabytes of data. Topic. Differences between SQL and GQL Google App Engine's integrated Google Cloud Datastore database has a SQL-like syntax called GQL. GQL does not support the join statement. Instead, one-to-many and many-to-many -many relationships can be accomplished using reference property. This shared nothing approach allows disks to fail without the system failing. Switching from a relational database to cloud data store requires a paradigm shift for developers when modeling their data. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Portability concerns. Developers worry that the applications will not be portable from App Engine and fear being locked into the technology. 
In response, there are a number of projects to create open source back ends for the various proprietary, closed APIs of App Engine, especially the Datastore. AppScale, Capedwarf, and Typhoonai are a few of the open source efforts. AppScale automatically deploys and scales unmodified Google App Engine applications over popular public and private cloud systems and on premises clusters. AppScale can run Python, Java, PHP, and Go applications on EC2, Google Compute Engine, SoftLayer, Azure, and other cloud vendors. TyphoonI can run Python App Engine applications on any cloud that support Linux machines. Web2PY Web Framework offers migration between SQL databases and Google App Engine, however it doesn't support several App Engine-specific features such as transactions and namespaces. Kubernetes is an open-source job control system invented by Google to abstract away the infrastructure so that open-source containerized applications can run on many types of infrastructure, such as Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and others. This is one of Google's answers to the portability concern. <laughs> Backends In Google I.O. 2011, Google announced App Engine backends, which are allowed to run continuously, and consume more memory. The backend API was deprecated as of March 13, 2014 in favor of the modules API. <laughs> Google Cloud SQL In October 2011, Google previewed a zero-maintenance SQL database, which supports JDBC and DB API. This service allows creating, configuring, and using relational databases with App Engine applications. Google Cloud SQL offers MySQL 5.5 and 5.6. Usage quotas Google App Engine requires a Google account to get started, and an account may allow the developer to register up to 25 free applications and an unlimited number of paid applications. Google App Engine defines usage quotas for free applications. Extensions to these quotas can be requested, and application authors can pay for additional resources. Topic. See also Amazon Web Services AppScale AWS Elastic Beanstalk Bluemix Cocaine Pass Engine Yard Force Com GoGrid Google Apps Script Google Cloud Platform Heroku Gelastic Microsoft Azure OpenShift Oracle Cloud Platform Rackspace Cloud SkyTap VMware